<laughs> Here I am. We're playing Spirit Fair. Want to play something relaxed today? Uh, so let's play um, Spirit Fair. Apparently, this game is super chill, and apparently, it's also very emotional. If I cry, and so be it. Is that local co op? I don't know that. Single player. I, I didn't know this game had co op at all. I thought this was only single player. I love that loading screen. <gasps> Is that me? I think so. Hello? Whoa. Kitty cat. Death? That you? Ah, oh, finally. Yeah? How do I continue? <laughs> oh, there we go. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. Ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. This... Oh, sorry, I don't know if this say anything. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. Would you say Sharon or is it Charon? Charon. It might be Charon. It is, after all, my very last day. Dude, you quitting? You can't do that. And you are... Do I get to pick my name? Oh, never mind. I'm Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? <gasps> you get to pick a name for him? Never mind. <laughs> Everdale. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. Don't go. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairers. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands. And when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Oh. Okay. The big round bridge over there is the Ever Door. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the guests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. Damn, okay. Oh! Hey, Pop Doris, thank you for the raid! Welcome, everyone! There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Okay, I won't. Maybe. I hope not. <laughs> Welcome, everyone! How are you doing? Here, this is something I need to give you. Smash. He's gonna give me... A knife. I'll be really careful with it. It's a knife. You're welcome. Love this game. I just started it not too long ago. And then Foxley came in and farted. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I've been, I've heard very good things about this game from uh, a friend of mine. Um, and then Tiger came in and nutted. So that's, <laughs> that's fantastic. Thank you for the follow, Pop Tours. What are you playing, by the way? Let me hit you with that shout out. <clears throat> This game, this game looks amazing, and I've been waiting to play it, and I, I wanted to play something chill today, so that's what we're doing. We're playing this. Because this game is very chill, apparently. And Pop Doris. Should be right. I, I needed to shower and, and make myself feel good. <laughs> she needed to shower! <laughs> You're playing. Was that my time at Porsche? I haven't played that game either. I'm guessing. Uh, was that that game? <laughs> it is super chill. It also looks amazing. I love the art style. It looks fantastic. Just me ruining a wholesome moment and Tiger. <laughs> yeah, both of you came in here. I just got a raid and then you fart and you nut. Are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me, guys? God damn it. Oh my god, that clip. <laughs> No, be really careful with it. I'm telling you, he gave me a knife. It is the Eberlite. That's not a knife. <laughs> the symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. 
Well, um, yeah, welcome everyone, uh, from the raid. What I do here is I play... Wait, what are you... My cat's killing him! <laughs> What's going on? Daffodil. Oh, how highly inappropriate. Oh, he took his nuts! Well, that settles it. Daverlite will help you throughout your travels. Um, but yeah, I just play all kinds of games, uh, just variety, basically. I've been playing, um, Sleeping Dogs the past couple of days. Uh, that game's kind of hectic, so I wanted to play something chill for today. <laughs> so that's what we're doing now. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy your stay. I'll be lurking, hate to raid and run, but I need to eat, enjoy Spirit Fair. No problem at all. Most people that start uh, raiding someone are like getting ready to go to sleep or something anyway. They're like ending their stream for a reason. <laughs> so like, I don't blame you at all. Thank you for, thank you for the raid again and the follow. Um, enjoy your food. And now you can always trust that I will be here every raid and embarrass you with a fart. Foxley? If I- if I know- if- <laughs> If I know anybody got me, I know Foxley got me. Every time. Uh, it will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Whoa, whoa. I love my hat. I love my little wizard hat. T-pose, T-pose, T-pose. The cat, even Daffodil did a T-pose. Oh, it's on my belt. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. He said duty. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. That's what I was gonna say. You are the new spirit fairers after all. Yep, I don't even have to read that. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Literally, or like, are you speaking figuratively, or like, <laughs> if I just go to the right for some time, will I find- <gasps> Daffodil just like fell asleep, oh, it's so cute. Probably. Uh, Come eat some fucking delicious strawberry cake. I already ate. No, strawberry cake. I already ate. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want cake? strawberry cake right Should now. Should I bring you strawberry cake? No, I'm not hungry. Mm -hmm. I ate too much. Thanks anyway. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> Goodbye, Genghis. He's trying to call me a fat ass because I didn't want strawberry cake? What the hell? Probably. No cake? How? I, um, my sister and I, we had, um, just like, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Grilled cheese. We had grilled cheese. Sorry. And, um... It was too much for me. Even just like two... Grilled cheese sandwiches. I... I it was... Too much. I almost... I, I couldn't even finish one actually. I had to, um... Put the rest of it in the chicken bin. Where we... Eat the chicken. The rest of it. The chicken plural. Chickens. Daffodil's sleeping! It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Bye! Bye, Sharon. Sharon. He's dying! They're dying. Oh my goodness. Oh, get a little glowy paddle. Let's go. Alright, am I controlling now? Nope. Not yet. I love that loading screen. Got a loading icon. Hey, that's me! Alright, I'm Stella. It's my cat, Daffodil. Can I pet the cat? Stop moving. Can I pet the cat? <gasps> Yippee! Oh, I can pet Daffodil. Yay! All right, press A to jump, hold, jump higher. Okay, we can jump on the roof. Oops. What did that say? Hold while jumping to climb through platforms. There we go. And hold to jump down. Right here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Stella. 
It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm. You look good. A daffodil's here too, I see. Daffodil. Mm. It's a daffodil. <laughs> Love to find a lint roller then. What? Uh, it might, might, might not be that obvious after mm. all. It's me. Mm. When? Good thing you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fair. Mm. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to uh, get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. Wait, what? I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Cigarettes? Mm. Ew. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble there before. Uh, I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? Mmm, I sure do. It's a pretty big boat. Do I get to live there? Mm. That's the one! Mm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it's still... Uh, I'd, <laughs> I'd wager it will work, since you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm. I'll explain it all. Okay. Whee! Oops, I shouldn't have jumped down here. Whee! Whoa! Cool slide. Ring the bell. Oh yeah. Okay. Whee! 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 Foxley, have you seen this game? I'm I'm guessing you have. This is like this is right up your alley. This is right up your alley, Foxley. How about you, Tiger? Have you seen this? We're here! Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh! Now we're gonna see Gwen. Furry game. Ah! Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, oh, she's smoking. The way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fur, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Oh, okay, give a hug. I think so, I've heard the name before. Okay, so, a hug. Oh. Ah! Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Okay. I've seen it before, just never got to play it. That's it here. Oh no! What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Albert? I was gonna say Albert the Chipmunk, but that is not a thing. <laughs> it's Alvin the Chipmunk. <laughs> Albert! He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm sure he's trying his best. Unless he's exactly like Sochi's, in which case. You know what I mean. <laughs> he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. How do we do that? You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what I was wondering. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. We will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go, so, open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Yippee! Can I sit on the couch? I can! Hello! Aw, daffodil's sitting right on me. Okay. Which button did it tell me to press? I... Uh, I pressed the button, but it didn't pop up. Or maybe I can't be sitting. Uh, this one. There it is. Start your boat in Stella's cabin. Fantastic. So far? It looks just as amazing as I saw in the trailers. Open it. We're in. Oh, we're in. Here. Okay. Can't do nothing with that yet. Struck the boat. Oh. This is Alt Harbor. This is Albert. Albert Shipyard. Let's go there. 
Oh, let's go. Stella! I so understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and re uh, reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Sharon, or Karen, I still don't know how you're supposed to say it. The Everdoor, the Spirit Ferris, this place, this boat, me being here, it's a lot. You must, uh, you must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either. By the way, do you have three ears? Or is that like not an ear? I think those are ears. She probably has like six ears. Yeah, Karen, that's how you say it. Karen died. <laughs> Karen fucking left. She was like, he's out. <laughs> she, dude, Karen literally went. <laughs> give, me my, give me my filters. Hold on. <laughs> Karen was like, I don't fucking work here anymore. See ya. Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. Uh, truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave uh, by myself, but somehow, I just couldn't. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Bye! Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space, for now. Uh, don't hesitate to explore the ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. Oh really? The world is your oyster. Relax! Oh, I'm sorry. You need to calm down with that bell. When you ring it at night, people will get up. Nobody likes to be woken up, especially me. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. I didn't know, actually. That was the thing. Oh, this is how you fish. I don't actually know how to fish, though. How do I catch a fish? Is it now? Hold X to reel. I got a herring. Not a red one. Oh, I guess we're fishing again. <laughs> it's day though, exactly. What the hell? She's just yelling at me to yell at me. Mean. Yeah, I guess we're here now. Another herring. Here we are! Yeah. Shit. Albert's shipyard discovered. Hold on, I wanna talk to Gwen. I wanna talk to Gwen. Quack, 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 quack. Can I fish over on this side too? Alright, I don't know much about ships. Which side is starboard and which side is the poop deck or whatever the fuck? Mm. <laughs> uh, I'll head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Okay. Oh, go down here. Ooh. Hey, Albert. Over here! Over to my shipyard, young traveler! Sh shipyard? Uh, where my prizes are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spiritfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to stop the ship and bring it here after all. One was right up to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let me show you what you have here. Nice little thingy! <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I love him. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. Uh oh. See, Heron was unhappy about his gloomy and dank art. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right, so I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. Don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this world will be resplendent again. This is hurting my voice to do. <laughs> Shouldn't give him that voice. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality, but the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, I want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, beginner. Oh, I don't have money for this, so I guess we'll do this one. Oh. 
Alright, I can't do anything else. <laughs> You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Yippee, I did it. Thanks, Albert. What happens if I jump in the ocean? Oh, I can actually swim. Yippee. I immediately went to check to see if I was just like drown or not. All right, let's go daffodil. Back to the boat. Finally. What? What? Did I stay in there too long? I'm sorry. What is this? Oh, this is the blueprint. Okay, let's talk to Gwen. Good. Albert gave it to you for free, and he said he loaned the ship to you? Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any buildings and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. I'm gonna hug her again. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Damn it! Fuck! Ah, optimistic about our new journey. Was recently hugged. I don't know what she likes, dislikes, or whatever. Let me do some more fishing before I do anything. Oh, Alright! Get it! Ah, oh, daffodil is playing with the thing. That's just another herring, okay. Edit. Um, then. Junk pile salvage. There we go. Ta da! I just ripped it all apart. <laughs> cool. Guess we're going back now. View. Wonderful. Alright. Talk to Gwen. We did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add up. Guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. Uh, I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. Love you to it, have fun. What? Yo. Huh. I guess I can only build this, the guest house. Oh, I can make it as tall as I want? Almost. I can go much taller than this. Guys, what gives? Why can't I make the guest house this tall? <laughs> you know? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna place it over here. Ta-da! Alright, nothing else I can build for now. I guess when is going inside. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What's going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I'll try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. <laughs> She's just like me for real. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sh sounds, so you should uh, keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as the necessary resources. Yeah, you require ripe jelly, and there's only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me dark presence and I even cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it for you. So there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. It will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Alright, well. Let's go find some jelly. Some Ghibli fish. There they are. Get them. Come on, Daffodil. Let's go find them. Where's my couch gone? 
This is ridiculous. I don't uh, I don't get I don't get to keep my my Ghibli fish and I go in here. Oh, hello. Some mood like, uh oh, he's scared. Okay, I put a picture of myself in the guest room. <laughs> Just a reminder. Just a reminder. This is my phone. <laughs> Right, let's fish for, fish for more. Oh my god, I love daffodil. I will die for daffodil. Put some more herring. Do some more fishing. What did I get? An old shoe? <laughs> Fuck! Damn it! I can't eat that thing! Oh shit! Oh boss! Dude, we're in a scary place now, and I got another shoe. <sighs> ah! I'm scared! Here we are! Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. It should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. What do I do? How do I pop them? I jump on them? Oh. I do this. Get that big one. I don't know if this is like hurting me or what. I don't think it is. I mean, I get things from doing that anyway. <gasps> Wait! That was too high, I gotta get up! No! <laughs> Got it. Got the jelly. Oh, big boy. Big boy. Wait! Gotcha. How long do we have to stay here? Alright, maybe these will just, like, disappear after a while? I don't know. Oh, look at how that! <laughs> how many there are! Yum, 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 yum. Oh, another big boy. Damn, I got a lot of glimpse. Alright, that looks like it's it. There's no more. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. <laughs> I get cranky when I'm hungry. All right, Gwen. Shh. All right, uh, kitchen. I can build it above her house. I can put it down here. You know what? I'll, I'm gonna put it down here. I, I think I prefer it being like on the on the bottom floor. Lovely kitchen. Oh. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple, but I need one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Can I put the shoe in there? Mm -hmm. I could even try uh, these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Whee. So like, am I dead? <laughs> Did I die? Recipes? I don't have any. Cook. Do I have to put logs in here? No. I guess I'll cook all of these. Or should I do that? Let me just cook like two. There we go. Two of these. I'm doing a little dance. I'm doing a little dance. Dang it, Bobby. Yeah, this is, this is gonna take a second. What have I done? 
These were not ready. <laughs> Whoops, I fucked up. <laughs> I thought it was ready. Let's cook the corn then. Oh, that's way faster. I'm guessing you have to take it out before it burns. Alright, I made popcorn. Well, I'm gonna make some fucking herring as well. There we go. It's gonna take a while. Okay, I can smell it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Food. Popcorn. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. Then again, you've always been one a wonder in the kitchen. Don't get spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And what I would die for and that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky, I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a free it's a fee each spirit has to pay you. Something tells me you knew that already. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things and turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. Get out of field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen. Uh, linen. Linen? <laughs> linen stuck tip. Which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. We need you to visit an island close by. It's called M Mostain Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Hey, you. <gasps> Whoa! Kindred Maze, no freaking way! Hold on, hold on. Let me just make you a bot. Uh, uh, like a. Let me just make you like a mod here. Oh, dude, mod him? Ah, oh, shit! I hit the ban button. Fuck. That was an accident. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll get it next time. I'll get it right next time. Stella! Ah, yes. I forgot, uh, forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being well lit. F hold on! Hold on! <laughs> I run to get my food. Hey, I got some grilled fish. Sick. Alright. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being well light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in that little cozy uh, room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. Wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, I'm talking about that. You know me. Waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. Ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, now for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Okay. Have a good night. Aw, good night, Gwen. Um, now I've cooked some food. <laughs> that bot came in really, really thought. You know, they really freaking thought. Um, so I can't really make anything right now. I'll just do it later. Maybe I'll f do some fishing right now. Can I charter a course before we? It's too dark to navigate. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll have to wait until the morning, I guess. I can do some fishing for a little bit. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let's just go to sleep. But, uh, sleep until morning? No. <laughs> yes. Time. It is not morning. Press LB to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Oh, there it is. Well, let's see. Where did they want to go? Mustin Cove. I guess we'll go there. So wait. I guess now I should ring the bell? Good morning, Stella. Give him a hug. Uses the loom, shops for threads, shops for fibers, comfort food. 
Question mark. Black coffee. Has eaten a meal she likes. Alright. Give you a hug. Ah. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Alright. Uh, I can't really make coffee right now. I do have popcorn. I do have fish. What happens if I just put a log in here? No, I'm not doing that. Oh, I also just realized that these require, like, the... Like, the... Um, thing up there. What was that called? Loom or something like that? The, like, light that we got from the jellyfish. I freaking love Daffodil! I love that she's just, like, playing around. Well, you see... Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. It's just the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. Oh, wait, what? With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical, oh, classic mythical challenges again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Look at that! Yeah, we made it to uh, Mostyn. Mostyn? Mostyn, Texas? <laughs> Mostyn, Texas? Yeah, uh, we should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay, okay. Are you coming with? Let's see if there's anything different to fish here, actually. Or is it just gonna be herring every time? See it? Go, go, go! Is my webcam in the way of anything? I guess not. No, it's just herring again. Okay. Ella! What? Here we are. Boing, 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 boing. What is this? Hey, got some bottles. And a medium glim bottle. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine. I promise. It's the best way to get wood you need, actually. But don't worry. It'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Nice. How do I chop it? Why did your thing go down? Oh, Daffodil is helping me! Ah! <laughs> Look at her! Ah! Well done! Congratulations! We have become Death, the destroyer of worlds. No! Joke, joke aside, that's how you do it. You've gone ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those nibble logs. I'll be next to the raft. Alright, ma'am. Some berries? Raspberries? There more trees? Oh, yes there is. Come on, Daffodil. Oh, I love them. Alright, go. Smash. What if that hit my... What if that landed on Daffodil? I'm sorry, what happened? Oh, they don't like the water, of course. <laughs> Can I mine this? Hold X as long as possible to break a mining node. Oh, not like that though. <laughs> okay. Uh, bam. Uh, bam. Fuck. I held it too long. Ever don't, don't look at me like that. Hi yeah. Oh. The limestone. Is there anything else out here? Oh, I love Daffodil! When she's in the water, she's scared. <laughs> she's rolling on her on her Everlight. Yippee! Oops. I wanted to go up. This game's fantastic so far. This is right up my alley. I'm I'm a big fan of these. It's like chill games. You can't really fail, it looks like. You're just you're just gathering resources and, and having fun. Should I give her food? What happens if I give you that? Thanks, I love it. Yay. Well, she likes the, the fish. All right, let's go. Just left them behind. Hi, Gwen. Okay, she told me to make, I guess the field. So let's do that. Oh, there's a big, big field. Gives fish becomes cake. Wait, did that happen? <laughs> Didn't see that. Oh, this is way too big. I have to like move something. 
Can we move the cat, uh, the kitchen, the kitchen up? So I should be able to edit. Just up here for now. Does it cost to edit anything? I didn't even check that. Um, I don't think so. The field goes there. Edit. No, it doesn't cost anything. I'm gonna have the kitchen right there. Did the fish become cake, actually? I didn't notice that. A field! Ha! Better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Did I say that right? Je ne sais quoi? Maybe? I don't know, that's French. <laughs> Simple, but elegant. Also, what does that mean? No, all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. How? Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, set up shop in Hummingbird, the busiest town of the area. Uh, Theodore and his brothers are the are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. <laughs> what? Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I ran into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird Glen. I said that weird. Sorry. Sorry, I hope you don't hate me with that. What happens if I put berries in here? Does it make jam? Does it make jam? Try it. That's gonna take a little bit. Can I... I can't, like, grow the... the berries in here, right? Nope. We leave. Let me go set the course. Set sail for Hummingburg. For Hamburg. Germany. Hummingburg. There we go. I love the map in this. It's actually pretty nice. I like that. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's still going. Let me do some fishing while we wait. Let me pet Daffodil while we wait. <laughs> I'm gonna pet Daffodil a billion times and you can't stop me! Fish. Before the stream started, I was getting like worried, by the way. Tiger, uh, Foxley already knew this. Because I was like sending messages like frantically in the Discord that we have. We have a Discord channel that's called Sweden versus Iceland, and it's just like me, Voxley, uh, and Soches and Voxley's sister, and then um, Walsiker is in there too. And it's just like Sweden and, and Iceland, <laughs> basically. And um, and uh, I was sending them like, oh, I don't know where my cat is because I took my cat yesterday to get neutered. And he was supposed to take medicine today, and I saw him this morning when I went out of my room. He came out, and like, I saw him, like, meowing at me, you know, that he was hungry. And I was like, hey, bud. Oh, just finished. Damn, I'm good. Poached fruit. Okay. But I, um, I, uh, oh. Oh, yeah. I, um, saw him this morning. And then I went to the bathroom, and when I came out again, he was just gone. I didn't see the cat for the rest of the day. And then, before I started the stream, I was getting worried that, like, he got- He, like, maybe left or something? Because, like I said, he just got neutered. And I don't know if he's, like, sad that he lost his balls or something. But I just didn't see him at all, and I was, like, sending Foxley messages. Then my sister comes in my room, and she's like, Dude, your cat's so funny. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, your cat's, like, catching birds outside. It's funny. And I was like, which one? Oh, the one that he just got neutered, and I'm like, oh my god, that fucking guy, he just like shows up right now. Uh, and he's catching birds, so I was able to give him his medicine. He really fought, uh, us for it though, like, he did not want to take his medicine at all. We're here, let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. Okay. <laughs> Go. Hello? I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. Hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. And they'll tell people. Listen. 
I just don't want junk mail. Leave me alone, you telemarketer! I'm following them. I know where you live! I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs, a garden, maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. No, you can't help me. But it uh, helps to say it out loud. You might stumble on the rarest of finds. You're starting to annoy me. We're not friends. Open up! Stop rattling my knob! Oh, come on. Let me in! Come on! Oh! Take a good look at the shrine still. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the Spiritfarer and the Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. The two slots it needs uh, on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it. But to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. I'm sure you'll find... You'll soon find more lost souls like me. Okay, okay. Uh, I need two obols. Oh, sleepy time for me. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you so much for joining, Act Tiger. I appreciate you. I hope you have a good night's rest. Whee! Oh, look at how freaking epic I am at jumping around. Alright, who are you? I simply adore your hat! The local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage you wears. Seeds, logs, rocks, the useless items! I need me a hat like yours! <laughs> well, it is not for sale. But, um, thank you. I also like my hand. I can just go in here. <laughs> Whose house is this? Wait. Can I, like, go up here? What is this? Well, I got some fucking seeds for free, I guess. But I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Some in here as well. Oh, come here, Daffodil. Yippee! All right, what do you have to say? Oh, <laughs> oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary or Margaret? It's Missy. Wait, no, Escher. Don't tell me it's, oh shoot, I'll get it someday. <laughs> All right, I'm sure you will. Yeah, I hope the next game will, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I'll crunch the data and spend five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency uh, from the mountain gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability Eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? I fucking give him like a killer wedgie and I run away. <laughs> See you later, loser! Leave my door alone, okay. My favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. Beautiful and quite peaceful after a long day's work. Oh my, I shouldn't have told you if I wanted to. Keep it that way. Yeah, it's not gonna be peaceful anymore, stupid. My bench now. Alright. Are there any more free stuff I can get? Did I talk to you already? Good day to you. It is night time. Astrola Day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no, why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I'm not sick. I'm okay. <laughs> Alright. Good day to you. There you are. Oh, oh, raccoon fella. Oh, this one's locked. There's a thing. There's a thingy in there. I want it. Okay, good. There's Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look at what he's selling. Mm, let's talk to him first. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Umminburg since forever. If you've got the glimpse, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glimpse. Step right up. Well, I'd like to buy. Key for Hummingbird. This key opens the door next to the broken ladder. Ooh. Okay. Uh, linen, corn, coffee beans, carrot seed, turnip seed. Uh, how many of these do I even have? I don't have any. Oh my god. I don't have enough to buy any. What happens if I click buy? Yeah, I don't. I don't have enough for any of these. I'm sorry. 
What was that? Those prices are out of control. Won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I made her British. You should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. What? Madam, what's the meaning of this? My friend here is the new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie. Neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. It's fair prices. I... I... So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter... Got it? But... Yes. Yes, of course. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. <laughs> I'll give you a discount. Oh, thank you, Theodore. Hey, you. It's you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some help. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You wanna come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. The idiot broke the ladder. You have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. Yeah, the key is in here, so... An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well of patron, what can I do you for? Oh, well, the key is only 5,000 now, not 50,000. I can afford all of his stuff. Okay, I was supposed to buy linen, I'm pretty sure. So, let's do that. Let's also buy some coffee beans. Because our friend likes coffee. Um, maybe some carrot seeds? Some turnip seeds? Yeah, let's just buy one of everything, why not? <laughs> Did I sell something? Sell him a herring. Ooh, it's 15 glims fur. Do I have those shoes? Those, like, old shoes. Can I sell those? I guess not. Dude, these berries are pretty actually expensive, actually. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Fantastic. If you got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Mm. <laughs> Look at their little dance. Well, there's nothing else I need here anyway. I'm gonna go. Talk to everyone, I'm pretty sure. And I've gone in all the houses that you can go in. Everything else is locked. Whee! Yeah! Me first, me first. Bye, one. It's dark to navigate. Will be possible again at dawn, of course. Oh, wait, she looks sad. But I guess she's sleeping. All right, can I plant some seeds now? Some linen. Some coffee beans. And some corn seed. I thought I bought carrot seed. Um, maybe I can't plant them here. I gotta use the garden for that. Probably. Let's go fish some more. Can I build the garden actually? Hold on, let's see what the workbench says. No, I need more. I need lightning in a bottle. What the fuck? So I can't build any of that. Could build another guest house. Never mind. You can only build one of those. So. We're gonna do some fishing while we wait for our fish to be ready. I should have just cooked all of them. I don't know why I like held on to some. What was herring? Is there any other fish in this game? Or maybe I have to upgrade my fishing rod or something. Will I hear the bell from the kitchen from here? It's ready. It's ready. I gotta run. I don't hear the bell, but the fucking thing shows up. There's an icon. I'm assuming this can burn. So I gotta watch out for that. Grillfish. Let's go. Alright, let me sleep. I don't wanna ring the bell. Sleep until morning. Yes. Yes, please.
some water. Import the stretch. Where are you going? Looks right. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. I'm not gonna ask. You have to find better mentors than me. This reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans. But you are the spiritfarer. The spiritfarers find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here, where someone might be in need of your help. I'll bet you'll like this one, if he is who I think he is. Mm -hmm. So, let's sail. Wait, let me give you a hug. It's morning. I can hug you now. Ba, bim. Dushk. Aha! Feeling much better. And I'm gonna try giving her the poached fruit. Maybe she likes that. The simplest dessert there is. Damn. Hmm. Mm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried. But I just can't. Okay. Well, I'll give you the herring then. Because I can't eat the same thing twice. I don't hate myself that much. What the fuck? She's always eating different fruit then. Do I have to water these, actually, like she said? How do I do that? Oh. Maybe I could have done that last night, I don't know. I didn't even try. There we go. They're watered. Now, let's go to the place she told me to go to. Right over here. Barkinsheim Creek. Okay. Looks like there's some storm in the way. What does that mean? Like, are we in trouble or what? Stella. Yeah? You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here? You can care of me in my final hours? You always, you always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Uh, she got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling at my father like you were on a mission. <laughs> father turned red and smashed the purple Del Delano vase? It was rad. Oh. How'd he do that? Can I get those uh, lightnings in a bottle when it's storming? When it's stormy out? Maybe. I'll try fishing when it's when it's stormy weather. No, wait, fuck, it's gone. No, it's just the same. Okay, now we know at least that Glenn does not like does not like fruit. This likes fruit, in fact. In here? Nope. He's over here. Well, well. Arkansheim Creek discovered. Arkansheim. Arkansheim? I don't know. Alright, mood. This likes fruit, yeah. There it is. Is hungry. Yeah, I can't really give her anything because she doesn't want. Or maybe I can give her the popcorn again, actually. But... Yeah, probably. Do that. Like, surely she'll eat the popcorn for that. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. Yay! And I got an achievement. Or something. Alright. Now let's go to this new island. Let's see what we have here. New friend, apparently. Can I read this? Nope. Relax. 
Come here, Daffodil. Time to chop a tree. I'm loving these animations. <laughs> Whee! Oh, maple logs. I'm gonna chop down all these trees and then when I find the guy, he's gonna be like, Oh, I'll join your ship if you promise me one thing. Don't chop a single tree on this island and I'm gonna like fail his quest. Because I'm already chopping all of them down. I don't even care. I don't even care what he's gonna do. Kill me? I don't think so. But Hello. Hey. Oh, great. You're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now, it's just berries with no twist. Unless, it's just down there, in the water. I'll do it my- uh, I'd do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. Okay, so she wants me to test this. Hold down and press A to dive. Got it! That's the one! Uh, just leave. Bye. I got a lemon. Lemon! I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even... Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Hey. Alright. A new friend. Boing, boing, boing. Hey. To my boat we go. Oh, I can't wait to see what you look like. I'm sure you'll need someone who could make repairs on your boat at some point. Be your favorite new map passenger. Just you wait. I didn't even invite Daffodil onto the boat. Wait, when I did I already water these today? I think I did, but it won't let me in anyway. Stella! Oh wow, this boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Wait, what? <gasps> Frog. Right? Ah, <laughs> he's Frogman. It's me, Stella. Your Uncle Atul. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now, I got you, uh, Sprout. Let's sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is, is that, uh... <laughs> Where's he going? Let's see if I can water these now. I think I already did water them for the day, but whatever. I'm just I don't know if I'll kill them, I hope not. <laughs> I knew it! That's the Seamaster 2000! I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. <gasps> You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Okay. We got a new fishing rod. Upgrade. I think. Whoa, let's see what we get. Oh, well, this is a big one. Oops. Well, I didn't know I could actually... <laughs> I didn't know I could actually break the line. What do I do about that? What do I do when it's about to break? When the line turns red, it's about to break. Quickly release X. I feel like I did that, but maybe I just didn't give it enough time to calm. Here we go. That's exactly the problem. Okay, this isn't so bad. Oh, I got a squid! Let's do it one more time before I talk to him. Hell yeah, we're gonna get some better fish now. Is 
This is gonna be a big one. This is gonna be a big one. <laughs> oh my god, this one's actually like... <laughs> gonna take a while to get. Come on. We'll get them eventually. Hopefully it's not just a squid again. It might be. Oh, that was a soul. Ew, that goes on your shoe or whatever. Great job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace-level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go and, <laughs> I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. The water is very salty. This is the ocean. A tool? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, can I build a garden now? Hold on, I need... I need that bottom. Where is he gonna live? Can he also live in the guest room? See, look at that. You've got two opals. Remember that shrining hummingbird? I'll try and add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. <laughs> Okay, like, let's um, let's actually set the course for there now before it turns my time. More math. Hummingbird. Gotta start cooking this new food we got. Oh, let me hug my my uncle. I give him a big ol' hug. Oh, this one's gonna take a while to cook. Okay. Come here. His mood. Eh, indifferent. Give him a hug. Ah, I love him! A little hug always brightens my day. Alright, are you hungry for anything? He seems to like fruit, so... Oh boy! I just love fruit! Keep him coming! I can't get enough of it. Oh, Yvie. Oh, Likes everything, dislikes nothing. Aw, oh, I love you. It's alright, quick, come here. This is what I call a storm. And a respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight, it will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparks, uh, sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. I almost forgot, have you got any empty bottles? You're hit by lightning with an empty bottle. You get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightnings and bottles are a pretty handy, res uh, are a pretty handy resource. So come equipped. Let's start. Here are a few bottles for you. Don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for a thrill of your life! Where? Yeah. Oh, oh, he's playing music! Oh, I got one! Is this one? Oh my god. Oh, I'm just standing under the ones that I see up in the sky, I think? Here's one. Okay, I see how, I see how it works now. What? Oh! <laughs> uh, Daffodil got hit by a lightning. Oh, you can also just get glimpses for these. Oh shit! Oh. Wait, my friend! Uh, my food's ready. It's gonna burn? Maybe? Well, I can't really get more. But I'm getting glimpsed, so that's nice. Oh, get that one. I'm getting plenty of glimpses, in fact. Oh, sorry, David. <laughs> oh. Guess that's it. Oh, thank goodness. Get my food here. I got a squid skewer. Let's also cook the soul that I got. That one doesn't take quite as long. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You looked pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. Oh, I love you. I love you, Atul. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't be nighttime already. Wanted to make it to Hummingbird. Shit. Mm, you might not make it. 
Actually, I think we just made it. We just about made it. Okay, let's see the soul. What do we get? New recipe. It just gives you two grilled fish for one soul. Let's see how it works. It's too dark to navigate. Don't worry about that game. Wait, can I not even... No, I can go here. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could uh, even use the small boat. Alright, let's go. Play to you. Double jump, new ability. While in the air, press A again to double jump. Acquire. What? 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 <gasps> Whoa. Ah! What if I just explode? If you play this local co-op, by the way, one, I'm wondering if it's just like the other player gets to play as Daffodil, probably. Well, in the air, press A again for a double jump. Yippee! Ooh, there is something up here. A vibrant necklace. Grab that cash, boys. We are next. Hey, Rhino. Hey, Bay. Hey, Pa. Hey, Pa. Hey, How are you doing today? How are you doing? Can I only level up once on this island? It looks like it. And then I'll have to find more of these. Okay. Anything else I can double jump to? I mean, I can probably get to the ladder, right? Good that you're playing Persona. Nice, nice, nice. Let's just sell some fish, because I have plenty. You can sell two of these, okay. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff. Just gonna sell a bunch of things. <laughs> okay, should I buy something? I thought I bought carrot seeds. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot that they go in a different thing. Go in a different slot. Okay, bye. we are climbing up here. You made it. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake. I don't know where your hands even are. What? How's <laughs> it right here? Yeah, that's locked. Probably part of the thing in the Dunlock. Get up here, Daffodil. I guess they can't make it. Did I hear a sheep, by the way? Oh, what the fuck? Can I pet the sheep? Nope. They will just pod me. My sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. Hmm. I just don't want to loan my sister money. <laughs> okay. Yes, young person. Can I assume you're busy? Of course, you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. I'm back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Okay. Can you get this for free? More linen seeds? What is the, um... Shenanigans, upgrades, mailbox. Okay, Albert's got a bunch of like things for me to do. I should probably go back to him at some point. Um, I'm going here. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Um, must maybe hold on. Nah. Um, oh, Devil do better up. Let's just crew forever. I got like a necklace. I don't know where it is. How do I see it? Can I sell it? Is it for someone? Like a quest item, maybe? Oh, hello. Another person. Oh, what? Oh, you gave me such a fright. That cat. It looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes, it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? And that was me. Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. Is that your boat over there at sea? You've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. We have some lessons to go through. 
Oh, I guess we got a new friend then. Very nice. Uh, we get this. What even is that? Citrin. Citrin. This reminds me, don't I have the lemon still from the tool? <laughs> I think I do. Okay, I've talked to everyone upstairs, so let's go back to the boat. We go to talk to navigate. I know all about that, so uh, shut up, video game. Let me talk to a new person over here, little over here, little one. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. All right, what are you, snake? Snake person, snake in the grass. Oh, snake! Oh, getting out of this chrysalis. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Hey, oh, got another friend. Hold on, before we go in, let me give you a hug. Yippee! Ah, you're sweet. Wonder what you like to eat. Do you like, do you like fish? Oh, thank you, but I'm not hungry right now. Okay, sorry. Oh. What? Now about the garden. Oh Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It will be called Caring for Plants, uh, from A to Zelia. Mm, yeah, it doesn't ring as good once said out loud. Maybe I need to work on the name some more. I can probably build the garden now because I have the lightning in a bottle. Yeah, I can. Look at that. Uh, I'll build over here for now. Would you look at that? I should also plant some things. Carrot seeds. More carrot seeds. And only one turnip seed. And then I'll water them. He's like, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Oh, you can tell which ones you've watered because the like mud turns a little darker. What a wonderful little garden! You really outdid yourself, Stella. Well then, that just that makes us just about ready to start on the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They're they'll be important. I already fucking done that. I didn't even go to sleep this night. Let's wake everyone up. Good morning, Stella. Let's see now. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. You see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. But, <laughs> and as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through try and a trial and error, I managed to write a little song. These plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crops. Fantasia Fantastica. Old Y to play the guitar. Oh my god. Oh. Damn, I'm going. My cat's fucking singing, I just realized. Daffodil. <sighs> They're really growing really fast, actually. But it's only growing one of them. I thought it, all, all of the crops would start growing faster. Oops.
Am um, I like done or something? I guess I am. Hold X to pull. Ah! Oh, cool. Actually, yeah. It's done already. Find some more veggies. Or um, some more carrots here then. There we go. Quite incredible! Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery, and who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. It might help, if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. The strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those Paul analogies again. <laughs> okay. Let me give you a hug. Jeez, you got you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship with you, my niece. I wish your aunt Viv could see you right now. Running your own ship, helping out these stranded souls, it really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try to make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for the food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Let me give you a hug, today. I don't really feel like it right now. Never mind. Uh, let me give you some food. Do you like, um, grilled fish? Delicious! I had a hankering for this! Maybe he... Stella! You did good! Now, we've got a real boat going, and you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. I'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. And before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point. Uh, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for ever anything. <laughs> But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house. Unpretentious but sophisticated with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read the un and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but it'd be delightful if you could build it for me. And I got a new blueprint. Give you a hug for me, babe. Yay! Feeling much better. Let's give you a squid skewer. Ha! This is absolutely exquisite! Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to. And I've been in those a lot. Thanks a lot! Okay, she really liked that. She fucking loved that. Mm, can I not feed you anything now? Do you want... Some poached fruit. Oh, thank you, but I'm not hungry right now. Never mind. Can I hug you? I'm not <laughs> yet attuned. Okay, I'll stop bothering you. What happens if I cook the uh, carrots? We haven't tried that. I'm gonna cook one for now. Okay, let's see here. Can I, can I already harvest some of these? I think I can maybe harvest this. <sighs> Got some coffee beans. What about this? Is this ready? It is not. I guess I'll know if I can harvest it if, yeah, if just that happens. Put some more linen down. That's all I have anyway. So. Water it. I have to tell you something. Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this book. For the last several weeks, I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake, and of menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea. Or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I am now convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn at a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Okay, okay. Check it out. What do we get here? Grilled veggies. Nice. I'm sure someone wants that. I've already fed everyone for today, though. So it should be good. Wait, hold on. Let's see. This is what I wanted to check. Build. Gwen's Lodge. You can make it. Make it right now. It is pretty dang big, though. What the fuck, Gwen? What the hell? Can't really build it anywhere. Have to um, have to um, move something. Mm 
There we go. There we go. Got a little lodge for her. Want anything else? What are you doing? A tool? I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. You're welcome. She fucking became, like, angry. <laughs> Her fucking happiness went down, man. Alright, let's water all these again. And I also play music for my, um, props in the, uh, the, like, farmland, maybe. Sprout! Look, I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose, but you know, you know what would make it even greater? More plants, bigger buildings, better pencils. I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's shipyard could help you out. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I do have to go talk to him. Let's see, can I play music for these? I sure can. Is it different? It is not, it is the same one. I need to set course though before it becomes nighttime. So I'm gonna stop playing for now. And then I'll do that while we're going. We're actually on the move. So let's see here. One of them wants me to go to. Oh, where's this? New. Green Halton Bay. I guess that's the. Quartz Dragon? That's the one where we need to find that old acquaintance. But I do wanna go talk to. Albert, so let's go there first. What if I... What if I go here first? I mean, it's in the way, so let's do that. Let's go get some resources. Why not? Like, right there. Let me continue playing music. Oops. Do need to water that? That's fine. That's how I open my entry. Right. I love that Daffodil sings along. Done now. Collect it. Bam! Got some linen. Linen fiber. I don't have anything else to plant. Alright, get out of here. Do some fishing as well. Did I just crash? What the fuck is going on? What was that sound? Whatever I'm catching right now is super annoying. <laughs> it was a shrimp. Like, what? How is that a shrimp? <laughs> Robert, see trash. Uh, let me cook the shrimp before I find it. Oh, we got some coffee beans to give to, um,. To uh, make coffee with and give to um. When? When? Perfect. See trash. Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. All right. Got plenty. In fact, I got some more seeds, so I should plant those. Post base. Is there more? If you want to hug now? Ah. What a great favorite needs of mine. Uh, I think I already gave you food. 
The service on the ship is incredible. <laughs> yeah, he is I'm the happiest man, the happiest boy. He's ready? To not fight. Uh, all right. Those were all planted. Maybe I should water them right now. Oh, this is already ready up there. Return up here. Oh, go and set it. Of course. We're not gonna make it there. Not quite. Yeah, this is not ready. Plant the uh, plant the things we got in the wreckage. Copy beans. Get some more linen. And actually, it tells me if it needs water now. That's nice. Ah, jump is ready. Grab it. Shrimp cocktail? Dude, Rano's favorite. Alright. Make some coffee. That takes no time at all. Black coffee. <laughs> Stella. I've been thinking about her father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, no hate, no relief, nothing. It didn't really matter to me, but it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mom was appalled, but you felt better. I long wondered why you were so sad, and the best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead, feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Oh, thank you. I love you. Do you want coffee? Mm. Oh, not over yet. Okay. Hey, who's trying to talk to me? Who the fuck are you? An empty shell. I don't know, I'll go pick these up. Okay. Come down. Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fair. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You can say I'm sort of... I'm a sort of wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things, objects, curios, tchotchkes. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. Tell me, what is it you want to part with? You can buy from him? Odyssey. Uh, now nah, I'm saving my life. Errands? No quest from him. I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that Charon, Karen, uh, Charon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit old, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. It's I, if I dare say. I would known for it. Budding mariner. If ever needed, old Francis will never be too far. But don't let me be an impediment to your appetite for adventure. Fun sets sail, little blue jacket. Alright, let me sell him some stuff. This carpet. Uh, yeah, okay. This necklace. All these shoes that I don't need. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I don't really want to sell him anything else. Yeah, he liked that. Oh, he sure liked that. No, I want off the ship. It doesn't let me off like that. I gotta do this. Is that all of them? Maybe. Um, before I go ahead and talk to Albert, I'll go to sleep. If a cook doesn't go to sleep, will it like be ruined in the morning? <laughs> let me see. Let me see what happens if I go to sleep now. Maybe they're morning. Uh, 
I don't know if stuff burns. I have no clue. It might, it might not. It's ready at least. That's what the icon says. Go down, get out, ring the bell. Wake up, wake it, wake it, everyone. Yeah, it's on fire. What I get? Steamed shellfish. Nice. That sounds pretty good. Good morning, Stella. Go ahead. Thanks, but that will be necessary. You want your coffee? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stella. I'm not hungry right now. How do I? Can I, like, see if. I don't I guess. Can't right now. Are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since we fucking got here. Oh, you found my weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to a dessert. A delightful, sugary perfection. Thank you very much. Oh. I'll give you a hug, too. Give me. Ah, you're asleep. Alright. Um. I guess you should water the crops now. Do I get a way to, like, automatically water them later? Maybe? I hope so. I need to hug and, and feed a tool as well. Seems a tool can just, like, eat whenever. There he is. Hello. Where are you fucking going? Give a hug. I got something on my mind. Give me a minute. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Go talk to you, Albert, right now. See what we can buy. We should have plenty of, um, stuff. Stella, I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your book. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. <laughs> get it done. Okay. Sawmill, loom, a foundry. Medium sized boat that will make you slip away in style. Maybe I should get that. A mailbox. Fuck. I don't have enough. Uh, I'm gonna get this. Bam, I've upgraded my. I've made my boat big. And I'll get the hobbyist. Bam. Look at that. I cannot get the um, mailbox yet, though. I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but I found him sleeping on the cob. <laughs> Fuck. This is this is so chis. This is fucking so chis. Okay, is the traveling salesman gone? He sure is. Muscles off the fucking ship. Here we go. Uh, I guess I shouldn't disturb her. Oh, oh wait, she's out. Already gave you a hug and fed you. Can I give you a hug now? Nope. You want this? Why are you not hungry? God damn it! Fuck. Give. I can't give her anything. Already watered all across. Let's go talk to him. I'm going bananas on the ship. I don't have anything to do. I've got the surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece, you know that. I think I need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill. Yeah. You're just missing some of the key components. Materials. Which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck. Right? Of course not. Can I give you a hug now? That was not the best time for a hug. You fucking son of a gun. <laughs> okay. Can I build the sawmill yet? Nope. I need... Uh, I need linen thread. Wait, hold on. Improve? Can I improve? None of this. Oh, okay. 
You know what? I'll do this for you. Bam. You're welcome. See, she became happy that I did that. She liked it. Proud? Are you in here? What the fuck? You upgraded your boat! Hmm. That's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some bolts loose. He was probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. I'm gonna make it go faster. Oh, mama! That is more than I thought. Let's see here. Oh, this boat's got some advanced options now. First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. If you're using your map, you just need to toggle on safe travel mode. It's that simple. Don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. It's pretty handy. You can set your course and let the wind do, do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Well, have fun. Nice. Like the sound of that. Francis is over there. Okay. Do you wanna to get to Green Halton Bay? Close to that. I'm gonna fish. Love the way the water looks actually. So nice. The reflections. Uh, let's get whatever this is. Better not be another shrimp, goddammit. <laughs> Fuck, it was another shrimp. <laughs> Route! What do you want? Goddammit, a tool. Ow. Um, alright, let's cook some popcorn. More comfort food for uh, our friend. Let me pet my friend. I pet Daff. My pet. Uh, pet my friend Daffodil. Whee! Free popcorn. Maybe. Off I go. Okay, what's up? There seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like it, don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about your old uncle at all. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. I just didn't think I'd have to make new friends at my age. You don't have to worry. I'll be all right. Sorry I even brought it up. Just go stand on the edge of this boat and take it in this splendor, you know? Hopefully no bucks will fly in my mouth. That's no fun. <laughs> yeah, I'll let him do whatever he's doing. Can I give you food now and hug you now? Aw, you need me. Much better. Thank you, Gabi. Now, this is some damn fine cup of, This is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but this is certainly my favorite of them all. Thank you very, very much, Stella. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He loves black coffee. Okay, Tool, can I hug you now? That was not the best place for a hug. God damn it. <laughs> Delicious, I had a hankering for this. I gave him a shrimp cocktail. Really old. love that. This guy's just run out. Big jolly friend. And he loves shrimp cocktail. Uh oh. Green Halt and Bay discovered. Let's go. Whee! Do my uh, crops automatically get watered in the rain? I don't think so because it's like inside I'm gonna water these right now definitely haven't hugged a tool today so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that when um, when it's like the evening I guess Hey, we got some turnips now. That's the first. Haven't had turnips just yet. Let's try cooking them. Let's see what we get from turnips. Oops, didn't mean to water that. Sorry. I want to drown the plant. <laughs> We're gonna get forced or something. Let's see. I take a bit to cook. It's fine. I'm 
Mm, while it's cooking, let's fish something. Hey, I got a message in a bottle. What does that mean? Can I open that? I got a small glim bottle. Sick. This is some good loot, actually. <laughs> What do you want a tool? Nice catch, Sprout! You just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. It could be anything in there. A tiny ship, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. Open it. Brochure for Furugawa Tours. Greetings from Furugawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest and the serenity of the magnificent rice fields. Available now in Goreno Fields. Okay, okay. Also open these. How close is actually metal plastic? Food's ready. I go grab it. This is grilled veggies. Okay. All right. Let's get out there onto this new island. Who do we find? Hold it down. Copper. Hey, came here to cut down those trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not gonna start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. Look the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it claims me. Oh, calms me, sorry. Oh, I missed that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. <laughs> what if I find it? Come here, come here, Davidil. Got that. Oh, hey, it's all. I didn't expect you to be here. Look at all these trees. Oh, watch out, Atul. It's fucking dead. I have some berries. Can I hug you now? Oh, I sure can. Oh, you be. <laughs> Not great for a favorite niece of mine. Uh, let's get some grilled veggies. I'm working my way towards a snack. Okay, he's not hungry right now. Okay, whatever this is. <gasps> Freaking valuable ring. Nice. I should sell it to uh, Francis rather than Theodore, I feel like. Okay. I guess this was just like an island full of loot. There was not really anything here for me. Bye. I don't want to check out this quartz dragon. See what the hell that's about. Alright, we're right there, I think. Oh wait, no we're not. We're fucking not. Uh there's a the music. the dragon oh this i thought that might be it the dragon i guess it is inevitable that it will be here following me always even in this world 
our destinies? Well, they're not inter they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks light in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Yeah. How to fucking mine you like diamonds in Minecraft. Uh oh. Get it. Oops, sorry. Hey Get some quartz from those. Nice. Hey There's some more quartz. Oh shit. Uh-oh. No! Oh balls. Oh no. Eee. Okay. One last one. Maybe. Nope, there's more. <gasps> there he is! I'll help you. Friend. Still not it, huh? Maybe we're going back to the boat. I Ta-da! Yeah! Mine away. I don't know what I'm to say. Did I save him? Oh, you be. Incredible! It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we ever, uh, if we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it. Uh, for now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Okay. You're welcome. Are you hungry at all? Oh no, sorry, my chakras are not aligned yet. Yeah, I'm just not hungry. Okay, okay. Guess it is sleepy time. I'm gonna rest. Yes, sleep until morn. Sleep until morn? Sorry, I fucking farted. The music is very reminiscent of um, Ludovico and Maori. Like, it really reminds me of that. Give you a pet, give you a hug. Immediately charge our course for something new. You know what? Let's go to Francis. Tell him that ring we got. Ring the bell, actually. Wakey wakey, eggs and veggie. Good morning, honeybee. Water that one. And harvest this. Damn, I don't have any more seeds. But we're going to a thing. We're going to a thing. Peaches! Hi! Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Water that. How was disco? Did you end early? You just started pretty late today. I mean, I did too, so... Where's that? Uh, Turn it. We have only carrots right now. Welcome, everyone. Hehe, <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Bam. There he is. <laughs> I've already seen this. How do you spell pronounce? 
<laughs> I need to clip this. <laughs> Reno. You're funny. Oh, dude, well, Reno's. No bomb, man. Two black times. What time is it? Okay, I'll be able to stream for maybe like... 20, 30 more minutes. Because uh, I started pretty late and there's people sleeping next to me. <laughs> I had my audio set to speakers. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm playing your favorite game now. Hey, Francis. So, valuable ring. This one doesn't rule anything. Fuck. It's not the one. <laughs> it's not the one to rule anything. Uh, so. Sick. All right, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Bye. Unless, hold on. Do you have any errands? There's not. Um. Okay. Bye, Francis. All right. Let's set. Let's set sail. Uh, how you liking this? It's fucking amazing. I love the art style, and I'm loving these characters. I like them all. Set waypoint, I guess. Go for a couple of islands here, for a couple of things. What did I do? Oh, I guess I didn't go to that last one. I don't. I just unlocked that waypoint thing. I don't know if it fucking works. <laughs> um, it's so amazing. Yeah, just a heads up. The game seems like it isn't going anywhere, but once it does, you'll be like, oh my fucking god. Okay. okay. Uh, well, I haven't felt that way just yet. Nothing has made me go. Oh, this is fucking so boring. All right, I pressed into some stuff. Now, uh, stop. Put it. Oh, I guess we're not stopping here. Whoops, I should have made it so that we stop. Uh, I'm an idiot. I, heard, I didn't. I didn't realize how this waypoint thing would work. I thought it would stop at this place, and then I would just press start to go again. But I think I just like went past this area, so there's nothing. Okay. Now I, I'll. I'll watch out for that next time. Guess I'm just gonna do that then. I'm not gonna do waypoints. I don't know. Hmm. I'll figure it out. I added a bunch of stuff since I played, so it probably has way better pacing. And I ran out of stuff to do until I finished the story for a while and was confused by that. Okay, okay. I'll give you a hug. Never mind. What can I feed you at least? You want, I don't know, some grilled veggies? Delicious! Had a hankering for this! Love you a tool. Alright, come here, Gwen. Can't hug her yet. No hugs for you then. What about you? Ow. Oh. Ah, oh, you're sweet! And then, let's see, do you like... Team selfish? Oh no, 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 Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. And that's what I thought. I was like, this this lady probably doesn't eat any animal, so no breast milk, nor ova. Apparently, they were not meant for our consumption. And the meat. No, no. I'm sorry, I want to impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I will go cook some, some desserts for you. I know you like them. Uh... The art is so good, the art is amazing, and the music, I'm liking the music. It's so chill and nice. Did Foxley stop by? I feel like she would love this. She did. She um, came in, and I, within like five minutes of the stream, or at least within ten minutes, uh, I got a raid. I, um, I got a raid by Pop Doris. I haven't seen her before, but she popped by. And um, while I was like welcoming, welcoming her and her, um, her viewers, uh, Foxley comes in and farts, and Tiger came in and nutted, so that was pretty cool. It <laughs> just goes, and then, oh, and right after, and I'm just like, guys, come on. Somebody fucking raided, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> but, um, Pop Dora seemed to like it anyway. 
<laughs> Jesus left. Oh! Well. Alright. There's a serious lack of power tools in here. Maybe that sawmill I was talking about. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, I I will build you that sawmill as soon as I have enough um, material. Which I don't. I didn't mean to pick it out. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Oof. I went to look at the timer and I just like completely forgot how it works. Alright, here we go. Event. Jellyfish! Here they come again. Oh, I don't feel great. Go, I still have faith in you. I'll watch from inside. Yes. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. What's that behind you? Did I fool you? You get fooled? Uh, I'm missing a green one. Oh, it's way too high up. There's no way I'm getting it. Unfortunate. Oh, big boy. Oh, there's three of them up there? I can't get up there. Game? What the hell? Okay, there's more coming over here. Like right in front. Uh oh. Where is it? Where's the green? Where's the green? That's everything. There's no more. I was wrong. There was way more. Whoa, get him. Gotcha. Sick. Uh, I gotta water my plant. My linen. But, uh, how was, uh, disco for you today? Peaches. What did you, what did you do today? Did you meet the law? Oh, the pigs, I mean. The pigs. But you did. And I bet you went, what the fuck? I bet you went, what the hell? <laughs> some crates good red books for like seven hours played a board game with Kim yeah I also played them um, did you play the um what was it fucking called again oh my food's ready oh, God. I, I don't remember what the board game was that I played with him but it, there was one that he like really liked he was excited to play it like the game told me that he was like oh um, like he 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 tries to look uninterested, but he's very interested, or something like that. And I was like, hell yeah, let's play this for him. Oh, how about a little snack, still? I'm feeling quite hungry. Yeah, I got you. Your coach food. Oh wait, oh, I forgot they don't want to eat the same food twice in a row. So what about popcorn? Do you like this? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. There you go. Where to give you a hug? Played a board game. Let him win. Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't let him win. He just fucking beat the shit out of me when I played. <laughs> you know what? It's Cam. He 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 deserves it. I really feel like it right now. Fuck you, then. I hate you, you fucking asshole. Fuck. Ooh, there's something to die for over here. Go. Um, let him win, but was very communist during it, and he respected that. <laughs> nice. I did not die with the red blaze. Okay. How close to done with the game do you think I am? She likes tea, I think. 
Uh, still haven't found a way to make tea, I guess. Find that later. Who's this? Why is there a fucking train there? Mm. Yeah, Davidil? Um, where can I find... Can I go back to Hummingbird? There's another shrine? Some spirits I haven't talked to apparently. I thought I found everything there, but apparently not. Oh, and I didn't even find everything in Park and Shine. Okay. Um, I don't want to go to this Renu Fields that I found, or um, I read about in a in a uh, read about in a bottled message. Uh, but yeah, it's a bus service, but a seal. Oh, what? Okay. Um. Uh, how long do you think you're done with the game? If you're about to talk to um Ruby, did you talk to Ruby yet? But like, once you've talked to her. I would say you're about, like, 80-90% done. You don't have much left after her. Well, Stella, okay. I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine. It was a diva, with old lettering and a manual wheel. You know, I've always been uh, into textiles. Well, a few years ago, I went to a museum which had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines. I couldn't help but notice that you can build a loom on this ship. This would be this could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks. Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure you'll need to thread and uh, you'll need thread and fabric soon. I do need thread actually. You should definitely add a loom to this boat. The resources for it should be simple to find. Mm -hmm. Check it in your blueprint table. Okay, okay. Can I feed you something now? Like I don't know. Some fucking popcorn. Mm -hmm. I take comfort food over almost anything. He loves it. And a hug. Mm -hmm. Um Ruby, haven't talked to her. Okay, I was wrapping some stuff up on day five, so I'll talk to her right after pigs, and I guess I'll be done shortly after. Looking forward to it. Really love the game. Masterpiece for sure. It's, it's fucking amazing. I love that they added, like, this new update that I already saw, but I forgot about when you sent me that. I was like, oh yeah, they like, definitely added, like, a photo mode where you can just, like, <laughs> make giant people or small people, and it's like, it's funny. <laughs> 42 hours so far, so that matches with expectations. Did you force the letters forever too? I did not force them because I didn't know you could do that until Walsy was like, oh, by the way, you can force the letters. And I'd already gotten the signatures. Or you could force the signatures. And I was just like, shit. And you can't like take it back. You can't like make a new letter. Like I did not want to do that job for him at all. I really did not. But I didn't know you could actually force the thing. Okay, I can build the loom now. Uh, yeah, I'll put it right here. Or, i put it over here. Look at that. Replace, but I don't fucking care. Fuck you. <laughs> and I can improve. No. No. Okay, maybe later. All oh, right. He loves it. I guess it is sleepy time. I'm gonna... Rest first, and then I'll talk to you guys. Um, learned about the pale today. That shit is wild. I couldn't finish that quest. I wasn't smart enough. I didn't really figure out the pale. Have you fared anyone yet? No. Except for Karen, if that counts. Or Charon, or I still don't know how to say his name. Probably. Let's start it again. Oh yeah, let me ring the bell. Let me ring the dingster. Where are we right now on the map? I feel like we like went through somewhere. Oh, we went through Albert's place. Okay, the shipyard. We're gonna, we're gonna pass another quartz dragon. The pale shit was hard. It was required to finish the church stuff. 
Yeah, to finish like that one quest that that lady had. I don't remember her name. Here, let me talk to you now. Oh, we're pleased, Stella. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been very tired recently. I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. A bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously, and then we could continue our les lessons. No, no, nothing too fancy, just a place to sleep and meditate. The lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if I had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Star people. Of course. No problem. No problem, you old hag. What's her name again? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> now this is Gwen, and that's a tool. Her name is... I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Alright. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside, and then you spin. You just have to make sure you hit the target. And you get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Okay. Load some in there. And loom it. What do I press to do the thing? Oh, I just do this. Sick. This isn't too bad. Good job. Didn't mean to leave. Sorry, Gwen. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. Uh, and that's what makes this so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go... Uh, I'll probably give a go at it myself when you don't need it. Don't worry about the materials. I'll manage. Okay, okay. Oops. Okay, let's see. Can't I, like, feed and hug people now? She's playing music in there? Okay. Water this. I went to the lady and got the roll on my first try with 28% chance, I was happy, and then I was confused, the pale is like a nothingness on the earth, and the planet is fucking flat. <laughs> what? I like fixing stuff over here. What a guy. Alright, can I now build something? Renault fields discovered. Hello! Earth is flat. Earth this flat, what the hell? There's a sawmill. Oh boy, a tool desperately wants this. Can I even build it anywhere? Ooh. It just fits right up here. Look at that. Um. Yeah, I'll build that right now. No, I can't afford her thing, though. <laughs> her name is Summer. Okay. Now in her name. Wow! We'll talk to Summer. Has the game actually told me her name? I don't think it has. Now that I fucking think about it. I think I'm just hearing Summer for the first time now. Oh, I only have one more vegetable seed. Oops. Well, well. The snack would be great right about now. Well, guess what? You can have the shellfish. Is that shellfish? Oh, no, 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 not for me, sorry. Okay, she hates shellfish. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I will give you... Some coffee. That's what I call a perfect blend of coffee. That is the spot. He loves it. Oh, give her a hug, too. Thanks for that one, Venus. You fucking asshole. What about you? Are you hungry? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. I can just give her... Strawberry. Her chakras are not aligned yet. Wow! Oh, he wasn't inside. I thought he was. What the hell? This looks amazing! Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big! What a beauty! There's just one problem. <laughs> no, don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Let's again, Sprout. What? Give him a hug. Give him a big ol' hug. This guy's just a rhino, aren't you? Don't you agree, Peaches? Who cool hug always brightens my day. Okay, give him something he's never had, like a shellfish. 
servers on this ship is incredible. <laughs> okay, what do I do in here? I just have one log. Was I supposed to press something? I got sawdust. Maybe I was supposed to press a button in there. I don't know. You're doing it all wrong! I'm sorry. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm. Or something worse. An head from the old hammer, well, good luck. Better try it now, you rascal. Okay. Oops. Ah. <gasps> Whoa, that is really hard. I farted, sorry. Hey, I got some planks though. Yeah, that was way easier. Would you look at that? We got plenty of planks. And he also said, Would you look at that? You did great! Ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with the sawmill. Don't go out and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. I look really fucking angry with him. I'm like, no shit. No shit at all. You really are a tool. <laughs> Sprout, you've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting well work done. Learning a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. Pretty basic. With just a few hinges here and a few nails in there. Oh, you've already got some materials. Build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Lovely. According to your friend, Gwen. Sorry. Alright. I already fed him and hugged him. Where's Summer at? Didn't give her a hug yet. Yes, yes, you're supposed to cut it, you dim. What? Don't you feel better now? Alright, I already gave you food. Did I hug you yet? I can't really do anything to you now. No hugs, no nothing. Not even a little kissy on the lippy. <laughs> uh, let's cook some greens. What? Hey, Stella! As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Aunt Viv, uh, Viv would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully I don't ask for anything too extreme. You never know what with this appetite. For warning, Sprout. What? <sighs> what? What did he want exactly? He just wanted me to make him like a big meal, I guess. I guess we should fish something out. Hold on, let me see if I can build his house. Maybe. Never mind. I cannot. <laughs> He's talking to her. But. But. He likes berries or something and fried chicken. There's no chicken in the game. You're lying. Hey, I got another message in tomorrow. Someone's yelling at me. I think it's Gwen. It's Gwen. Okay. There is fried chicken. No, there's not. And there is a mushroom person. No, there isn't. You're lying to me. <laughs> you're telling me it. You're telling me Kentucky fried this chicken. I'm sorry. All right. Make something good. Stella. Stella, I've got to tell you, there is something I'd stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' uh, manor on the lake? As weird as it sounds, it's not too far from here. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world too, I must admit. I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. Uh, as I've spent uh, much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. Better the location on your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. 
Villa Major. Let me pull this out. Water this. You really think I'm lying about the fried chicken, eh? Alright, smart guy. Okay, we'll see who knows what. Brad, I already got some threads here. I was going to use it to weave some fabric for you later, but if you want, I can give it to you uh, for you to weave. You want the thread? No. Okay, I'll keep the thread for my weaving. I want to hug you. Fuck. Or at least take my coffee. Oh, okay. I think I already fed her, actually. Thanks, I love it. No, I didn't. Okay, there you go. I knew there was something. Um... I heard you already, I think I did. Never mind, he's got something on his mind. Okay, well, let's go check out this island. Hey, you like jerky? I don't know if I've ever even tried jerky. Oh, a visitor. Yes. Hold on, let me open the other bottle that I got, actually. O to an axe. Lumpjack without an axe. Crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. Will grow old, they said, laughing. That's the poem from that axe lady. Or person. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugo, uh, Furugabo tours? Of course you are. I'm holding our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After you, after you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry. There's no gift job after this tour. Ready? Okay. Perfect. Let's start right away. As you can see. This island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with a fauna. Rice patches and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. I'm leaving. Is there anything in the water here? There isn't. I'm gonna start cooking. I have me on speakers. I would start yelling if it wasn't like fucking 12 a.m. and everybody's sleeping. Over here. Rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. I am not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I am off duty. That's beside the point. Off to our next stop. I think I'm gonna like finish this tour and then I gotta go. Don't get too close. I'm sorry. Chop down this tree. Don't even talk to this lady. No, I'm gonna talk to them first. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we would move along, that would be great. Alright, let me chop it down now when they're not looking. They're not gonna notice. One, one or two trees are gone. Like, come on. An oak? Look at all these trees! We'll be picking up some wood, hoping to do some work on these later. I don't really feel like it right now. Oh, it's you, Atul. I didn't even realize I couldn't see behind the tree. I already fed you. Well, she's that angering for this. Guess I didn't already feed him. Rhino. What's going on? <laughs> Crashing, babe. What's going on? Got a mushroom. Speaking of which, this fortune tree is at the centerpiece of this whole island. We're not sure when it was first planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages, anything to help with their lives. All right. This concludes our tour. For our Gaba tours, is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 grams. Sure, whatever. That's amazing. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming tours new newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. I got an achievement. Greetings for Fur from Furugawa. Oh, sheep. Me. Strawberries? Oh, nice. Cut you can a market podcast even a knob post it in this court or better it sent it to me on snappers is gonna wanna say it to a tetlam and a vessel it is let more must I have blood to tell it yeah yeah peaches yeah what the fuck is that what do you mean this speech can I get up here uh, I guess I can't right now. 
Do they have? Do they have? Do they have? Uh, enough? 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 Hmm. Alright. I have to go here some other time. What the fuck is that? Bro, put that back to English. Who the fuck is here is gonna know snowman talk? <laughs> what do you mean? You don't understand what she was saying? Alright, get the hell out of here. It's my time to sleep. Hey, we're taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. Alright, tell them all about it. To dark to navigate. It's fine. We'll be sleeping. Oh, and our food is ready. Hopefully it doesn't burn because I just went to sleep, right? I actually noticed it was ready. I don't know if food burns in this. It might not. It would be kind of annoying. And this game seems to like eliminate all annoyance. Come here, Davido. Not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Mm, that's new. Mount Toriyama. Got the bus again? Uh, Iwashima countryside. Countryside. Let's go over here. Come here. Be a little pet, Fabido. I freaking loves you. I saw a lot. He got very excited. Like, as soon as I rang the bell, he ran out. Hey Stella, you know me, I could always go for a little snack, something salty, something buttery, something with flavor. Oh jeez, you know it would be just perfect. A big old bag of popcorn all to myself, just go ahead and eat up some corn. Okay, I might already have some, I'm not sure. <sighs> Peaches is busy now, so I'm taking over. <laughs> Boot snap Momo Riley. How are you doing Amanda? Amanda, write something freaking insane in chat and make it look like Peaches said it. <laughs> That'll show him. That'll show him. Oh. Here we go. There's some loot. So I'm guessing if I'm like quick about it, I can grab most of this stuff while we're actually on the move. Right? But like... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. My big flappy butt butt is slightly cheesy. <laughs> what the hell, Peaches? I can't believe you'd say it. Oh no, sorry, my chakras are not aligned yet. You fucking it up. Want some strawberries though? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Yay. You uh, got something on my mind. Give me a minute. Give him the brochure. That's okay, Stella. <laughs> he doesn't want it. You want your lemon back? No, thanks. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, wait. I need a mushroom to look at. Yeah, we should. I'll talk to you now. I'm give you popcorn. I'll take comfort food almost over almost anything. And a hug. Yay! Thank you. That's some fiber I bought. I was going to use it to weave some thread for you later, but if you want, I can give it to you now. You want it? No! Oh. Weave something, you bench. Got some leaks. Not that shit. Dude, what the fuck? There's a leak in the boat. <laughs> Alright, everybody laugh now. It was funny. Yo, got some greens. Gonna be good for summer. Alright, let's cook. Let's cook our new mushrooms. Is it new? Wanna see what that gives us? It's probably just gonna be grilled wedgies anyway, but we'll see it. How do you know? Not attuned. What the fuck ever? I don't even care. There's some of these in here. Oh, 
Oh my god, that is really hard to do. Almost a little better. Ooh, got a perfect one. Oops. One more. And another perfect one. That's it. Okay. Your chakras aligned now. You fucking asshole. You fucking hates me. Build. I'm gonna build any other homes. No and no. Oh wait, actually, I could probably build that one if I just get a little a couple more maple planks. Just cut these up. Whoops. Fuck that one up. Whatever. Whatever. Nobody cares. Oh, nobody freaking cares. Here we go. Damn it. Well, I was not able to afford it, unfortunately. Uh, anything I want to improve? Fire glow. How do I make? Hold on. How do I make linen fabric? Somehow. Let's see. What do I get for the mushroom? Is this. Oh, it's both mushrooms. Okay, that's new. What about strawberries? Oh, I love you. I love you. You hug. Oh, I should have been moving this whole time. It wasn't that great favorite news of mine. It sure was. Do you want grilled mushroom? Delicious. I had a hankering for this. Wait, I forgot he wanted popcorn. Fuck. Do I even have a corn to make that? I might not. I do. Well, whatever. Surely I can hug you now. You fucking asshole. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I think I got everything from this shipwreck. So let's get out of here. Mm. Let's see what this is. Maybe we'll shout out. What is that? Anything new, or is it just... Nah, it's just post fruit. Yippee, yippee, popcorn, yippee! Better be an achievement for petting this cat a hundred times. God damn it. Okay. Um... Don't forget. I won't forget your house, okay? I promise. That's, that's some fish. This, some fish. Some fish. <laughs> Fucking what? Can be a message in a bottle? Nope. A herring. Not a red one. <laughs> What is this? What the hell is this? I 
farted, sorry. Got another soul. Let's check out this island. Hiroshima countryside. Mushroom, another oak tree. Let's go. Watch out. Spitting is the talent you need. You know, it takes real skill to find a target, aim, and hit a bullseye. That's skill and raw talent right there. I just love that I'm good at something. Are you spitting? What did you say? I could spit off tall buildings forever. On the off chance that I might hit someone right in the head. You <laughs> never would uh, run out of spit. This small bridge isn't very high up, and nobody ever swims down. Still, it's pretty satisfying to spit. I'm fully equipped. Got my mouth, I got my bottle of water. I'm ready, and I've got the spirits to do it for you. I'm betting. If I go down there, it'll spit on me. Hey, put up a tool. He doesn't want a hug. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Bye. Berries, Ooh, strawberries, plenty of resources here, we like it, we like it a lot. <laughs> Fastest tree chopping in the <laughs> Damn it, I can't do it like that. <laughs> oh. I want that tree to fucking hit me right in the fucking head. Hey, yeah. Uh... Uh, now I might be able to make Summer's house? Maybe? Oops. No. Ah. Copper. Oh, I guess that's the end of this island. Okay. Look at all these trees. Hey, if only I can... Get the ones in the back there and just deforest this whole island. Oh. Oh, wait, there's something up there. to jump even higher or something later. Gotta be it. Oh hey, what's up? If you ever have any clutter, I'm always interested. Maybe we could even trade. You give me your all useless object, I'll give you mine. Just the thought of new curios makes my head spin. I need to organize my stock in errands. Take a look for yourself. Oh, just look at that. Well, I don't have sockeye salmon. I don't have... Oh, I could get the grilled fish, actually. That sounds pretty good to me. Don't go anywhere. He's gonna be gone, isn't he? Can we at least give him like the garbage I found earlier? Hold on. Um never mind. Wait, didn't I have like a ring or something? Maybe I already gave it to They've been typing. Amanda has been being naughty. No, that was you, bro. Amanda? Like, bro. Don't even try to fucking pull that name. I'm fucking wasting my Lennon over here. My John Lennon. Cap, all you baby. 
You just wanted one of these, right? I think so. Come here, Francis. Here you go. Hey. Well done. Gonna go on achievement. There we go. Alright. You completed your first errand. What a great haul. There's plenty more to do. If you ever feel like it, I'll always be around. Everyone loves errands. Errands? Yeah, All you baby cat. Okay. Um. Oh well. Hmm. I'm going for a moose bush. A fucking what and a who? You want grilled wedgies? Thanks, I love it. Okay, I, I already hugged her for the day. Let's see if I can't build it. A summer's house. Yeah, there it is. She wants a big ass fucking house. What the hell? I thought she said nothing too fancy. Lying. B I C T H. What about improvements? I don't think I can improve anything. Nah. I don't really feel like it right now, okay. Let's see, let me give you some popped corn. Hmm, that really didn't fill me up. However, it didn't make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way uh, to calm those little monsters down, watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there. You see them laughing, for them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine, nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen. My terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. <laughs> anyway, do a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, not a spice rack. Seems I actually work for it, but it will be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Hey -o. Thanks, buddy. Is he hungry? Oh, wait, no, he fell asleep. <laughs> I thought he was like fucking salivating. I thought he was so hungry. But, <laughs> I need lightning and linen fabric. I still don't know how to get the fabric. That'll be for later. Um, okay, I'm sure she's real happy with her home. But I think I'm gonna save and quit here. And we'll continue this at a later time. But I have to go to sleep. It's way too late right now and I'm also very tired, so. Um, hold on, uh, we're good, we're good, okay, thank you guys for watching, thank you Rhino for being here, did you guys like the pins I got? <laughs> also, Snoop Dogg, are you sure he didn't make that song? I don't know, I, I, I'm pretty sure he sung that, he did the fucking smoke weed every day, isn't that him? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, whatever. Goodbye, Peaches. Goodbye, Rhino. And everybody else who joined today. Love ya. Have a good one. Peace out. Bye. He didn't. Well, guess what? Fucking 